So today I plan on upgrading my truck with an inverter. I've got a couple of them that have been laying around the garage. Just recently upgraded the radio with rear camera, front camera. But I'm thinking it'd be awesome to have a uh, inverter in here so I could just plug stuff in. Gotta figure out where I'm gonna put this thing. I know I'm gonna put it under the dash. Uh, let's see, what is the better of the two, which is least tore up? Mm, this one's got connectors still on it. These are broke off. Maybe I'll use this one. I know they both work. So, outlets are on that side. I guess if I mounted it. really good but that would be a good place to put it so I didn't have the cable so I ordered some these come with the lugs about 10 feet should reach from under the dash all the way into the engine compartment over there I have to find a way to run it through the firewall and it looks like that's probably the best spot right down here in the corner Got a lug on one side. A couple extra lugs, some shrink tube. The other one. Nice. Alright. See if I can fit these cables through there. So last time I used yeah, this guy. All I do is just poke it. And Got it in there. Ooh. Yeah, I liked it. Alright, well. I guess that's half the battle. Let me find something where I can fish through there now and feed it. Maybe something with a little bit of grip. And some threaded rod. That would work. Oh, yeah. down a little bit should be able to feed it down here so I don't need the poker anymore if I just tilt this down Oh yeah. A little. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, cool. It gives me enough tape onto. All right. So I'm gonna tape these two together first.
Now from past experience I know that this is really hard to pull through that rubber so I'm going to put a little bit of lube on here and hopefully that will help slide through. Just a little bit. that a pull see what happens and here we go success that wasn't too difficult All right. so I want to get this taped every couple of inches here hold these together Every foot should be fine. I got 10 feet of cable, so that should be more than enough to reach the battery. And the inverter has a built in circuit breaker, so I don't need to put that in. And it does have its own on and off switch, so I don't have to build that. If I was going to put it remote, I would put in a, a relay with the remote switch. And I think I'll do that when I get the camper. I'm going to run a bigger inverter. In fact, I've got that little one, the exact same one I'm putting in. I have that one, and then I also have a, I think it's a 1,000 watt inverter. But it's, it's much bigger. That would be more for a camper. All right, got that all taped up. Now, I need to get it underneath all this other stuff. Kind of hide it a little bit. All right, got it underneath there. Nice. Alright, so I'll give you some advice. I mean, the advice that I do is uh, 
You should solder your lugs if you have the chance to do it. It'll give you a better connection. And they won't pull apart as easily. These I'm putting in my pocket for now. My shrink tubing. And these lugs. There. I'm going to take and run a little sandpaper through there. Hold that. Little spiral, and then get in here and clean it up. Right. Look at that, nice. Okay, so that's one. Do this other one. All I'm trying to do is clean up the surface, make the solder stick a little bit better, become part of the metal. Good. Okay. Dead off. And. shrink tube. Put that over first. Don't forget, put this over first and move it away from the area where it's going to get heated. And then put the lug on and give it a crimp. And my soldering iron, some solder. This is hot. Ooh, hot enough. Now let's just heat shrink that. Okay, first one's done. the red one. There you go. Ready to go. Let me get this uh, inverter mounted inside the truck and then we'll hook up all the electrical in here and we'll get everything all tied up on the, the back. Alright, so I'm going to temporarily put this back. Not all the way in, but just so it in the right position. Let's get this thing mocked in there so I can figure out where I want it to sit. It seems like it'll fit nice there. So some very small holes because I want a good bite with these screws. And got some shorter screws that should should get through the plastic and hold on pretty good. This drill is I think it's on its last leg. Nice. 
ってSo the first thing I'm going to do, take these off. Alright, let's get these lugs hooked up here. this puzzle back together. Let's go here. Go in there. And then this snaps into There we go. Whew. Yeah, I planned on cleaning up these screws anyway, so I'm going to take the rest of these screws out, clean them, and then I'm going to paint, paint them black like I did the other side. Get a little brake clean, clean off these heads. Okay. Let's give them just a light coating. So, let's wire this one on and all the way around. Get it ready. Okay. Good to go. And the ground wire, I'm going to put maybe a little the ground wire. I'm going to put on the ground on the side here. That's a long screw.
Okay, battery hookup is done. Scissors. And don't forget to cut these on an angle so that when you run your arm across it, it cuts a big old hole in your arm. Just kidding. Right. Let's get these screws put in. The paint that I use dries really, really fast. I love it. And it's like, I think it's like a dollar a can. Maybe 80 cents a can. That is cheap. But, hey, it works. Alright, moment of truth. Let's see if it works. Ah, I got power. Now, oh, and the fan's on already. So, what I'm going to do next is test this out and see if it actually puts out any power. Got a little radio. Uh, plug it in. works it's only a 330 watt inverter so you get about three amps out of it and it's got a peak of 600 so about six amps so your six amps peak meaning when you start something up it can handle the the startup but running you get about three amps so it's not going to run anything big i mean you could plug in a computer you can plug in a light you can run anything 110 volts that's less than three amps i guess that would be enough for now I could always upgrade it I mean I've got four gauge wire run so I could go with a bigger inverter uh, but for right now it'll work I mean it was free I had it laying around my garage so I figured I'm just gonna put it in and use it this would work really well if you were running in a, a um, an amplifier too same same premise you're running a lot of power through bigger wires to the cabin of your car or truck and um, that does it for today thanks for stopping by